to Florida. First off, we'll cover the Sprint Car Show in Tampa. Now, this is an annual event staged on a well-groomed half-mile dirt track. And boy, then by a good dirt track race. There's a certain thrill to watching a car scream through the turns in a four-wheel drift. And today, good dirt tracks and the men with enough skill to drive them are becoming fewer and fewer. Recently, we found both ingredients in Tampa, Florida. With a fast track and hot cars, these boys put on a show that had the fans on the edge of their seat from start to finish. This Sunday race represented the third day in a five-day meet in Tampa for the IMCA Winter National Sprint Car Championships. It was a chilly 55 degrees under clear sky. The half-mile dirt track was hard-packed, dry, and slick. A completely different racing surface from the moist, tacky track the boys had yesterday. But then, that's the challenge of a dirt oval. Conditions of the track not only change from day to day, but oftentimes the surface will change radically during a single race. With no self-starting mechanism in these cars, push trucks move up and get them off and underway. The total purse for the five-day meet is $20,875. The drivers receive points based on their finishing positions each day. At the end of the meet, the driver with the greatest number of points takes home the lion's share of the money. And they come here each year from across the nation. The pole sitter in today's main event is number 56, Wibb Spaulding, with car 99, Jan Opperman, alongside, followed by a field of the country's finest sprint car drivers. The cat-quick acceleration of these cars is clearly evident as they leap onto the front shoot for the green flag, and they're off. At the end of the first lap, Jan Opperman has the lead. 56, Wibb Spaulding is second, with 16, Jerry Niemeyer third. Entering turn three, 40. Thad Dosher passes Goodwin to take over the fourth spot. yellow flies when Kenny Weld in number 29 loses it in the third turn, spins, and eases the car up on its side. He's all right, there's no damage to the car, and Weld will restart the race at the rear of the field. Kenny won the main event here on Saturday, but any hopes of a repeat performance have pretty well vanished now. By the same token, the leader of this race, Jan Opperman, had a bad accident yesterday, flipping end over end and slamming through the guardrail. With the track clear, the green out, they're underway again. Ninety-nine, Jan Opperman's car drifting through every turn and handling beautifully. He's the boy to catch. Car 56, Wibbs falling is second. 16, Niemeyer third. Number 40, driven by Thad Dosher, is fourth, with Ray Goodwin in the fifth spot. Car 5, driven by Bob Luscombe, dives behind the wall and out of the race with engine trouble. The pace quickens now as cars toward the rear of the field begin to move up and close the gap on the leaders, all with one thought in mind, catch Opperman. Suddenly, it happens. In turn one, Goodwin loses it, spins, and Adamson, with a tremendous effort, takes to the wall to avoid hitting Ray Goodwin. Meanwhile, on the front chute, David James stops his car and leaps out as the engine bursts into flames. 
needless to say, he's a little upset. With Adamson's car and Goodwin's towed behind the wall, the fire crews push the once flaming 98 off the track and the remainder of the field comes around for the restart. Dan Opperman's superior skill on dirt begins to show now as he stretches the pack. After yesterday's accident, his crew worked on that car all night long, getting it ready for today's race. They had some handling problems during the earlier practice laps, but it looks as though they ironed him out because he's as smooth as velvet in every turn. As Jan stretches the field, the only battle left is between Spaulding and Dosher for second place, and they're throwing a rooster tail in every corner. Here comes Opperman out of the fourth turn for the white flag. One more lap, and it's all his. Down the back chute, Thad Dosher tries to close on Spaulding, but Wibb punches that sprinter hard and staves him off. Out of the fourth turn for the last time today, Jan Opperman streaks under the checkered flag and grabs the win for the main event of the day. 56, Wibb Spaulding finishes second. Car 40, Thad Dosher takes third. Jerry Niemeyer, the fourth spot. Dick Sutcliffe, fifth. And number 18, Doc Dawson, winds up in the sixth spot. Jan's ride into victory lane wins him a trophy, a kiss from the queen, and the odds-on favorite to win the Tampa Winter National Sprint Car Championship.